Welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So I've just got a picked up a, a, a so scrap bit of canvas. But it's not canvas, it's cardboard actually. And don't this is roughly 18 by 14, something like that. Look, it doesn't really matter um, if you've got some scrap cardboard or you want to use a specific size canvas or canvas panel, then just do that. Um, this is all about technique and relaxation and just painting away that stress of everyday life in Wales. And I'm going to do a nice dark light painting today. Dark light painting, Clive? Well, I'm going to get some dark colour on. Um, I want a nice night sky with a few stars and bits and pieces in it. And I just thought, let's just have a bit of fun using up the colours that we got on the cam on the, on the palette. And it's just a Christmas card scene. Now, I know it's too late to do your Christmas card paintings now with this particular one, but it's something you can you can do next year. And if you want to click the eye cards, which are in the, the top corner over there, um, there's a little circle with an eye in it. If you want to click on that, there'll be other series of lessons and playlists in there on paintings that I've done um, over the last few years, in fact. So if you want to just go and watch them, and um, loads of techniques, loads of techniques, which is what you want as you're learning. So just relax into the painting. I got to miss the bottle here because I'm just gonna. I wanna. I wanna keep a center of my painting wet like that. Um, I'm just using tap water today. I'm not using anything specific. Just black and ultramarine blue. Just black and ultramarine blue there, just to get myself a nice dark background. Just painting that on and just having fun like this. So, yes, I mean, um, I can't wait for Father Christmas. I'm going to, I've got the, um, all the trimmings up now, the trees done. I'm cooking Christmas dinner this year, so that's going to be a task, but I quite like that. So I'm picking up some white. Oh, let's, let's start there and let's just work our way out crissy cross like this. A crisscross fashion like this. Out into the blue, out into the blue like that. Out into the blue. I don't know what I'm going to be painting in January yet, but I'm going to have a little review of what we've been doing over this year. And it's been quite a year, isn't it? It's been quite a year this year. Very, very lightly. Very lightly like that. There we go. Wash the brush. Washy, washy, wash. Just cleaning the brush off with a bit of kitchen roll. Merging that in like that. There we go. And then back straight in, into the white. And then we go again straight into some white. Take a bit of paint off my brush because I put a bit too much on. And again, same type of thing. Just blending, blending, blending. Now this is a good way to, to learn to blend. So we've got a glow. try and keep a nice bright spot in the center so I'm just brushing from the center out what's that that that's a nice bright spot there we are so you can see what I'm trying to do there now what I thought I would do is let's pick up a bit of this light the color and just a little bit of ultramarine blue a little bit of white just just get some color in now if, if you've watched my snow paintings before you know that i like to put some under color in and that's exactly what i'm doing in this particular instance like this just put in a little bit of under color in just to get some shadows and things 
a type of effect that we're looking for with snow drifts and that. And we don't, we don't, I don't, I don't rush things, and I'm, and I'm, I'm not too precise. I don't like being too precise with certain things, and and I think you get a natural look about a painting if you just take your time and, and don't stress too much about it because painting isn't about stress and getting anxious and getting yourself all wound up for no reason really at the end of the day it is just a painting and it's a painting that we enjoy to do and we relax so you've got a nice glow in a dark sky so what I want to do now is get my toothbrush not my toothbrush, this is a toothbrush that I use specifically for painting. And I'm going to go and get some little light flicks into the background like that. Now these could be stars, or they could be snowflakes. We don't know. We don't know. Let's get... some little flakes like that there we go so i'm just gonna pick up i got loads of brushes soaking in this water and and it's 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 a mess let's be honest it's a mess let's pick up some burned umber uh not sorry not burned umber some um, ultramarine blue and some black and we need to get a little bit of that white there we need to make us a little bit lighter sorry so let's just get a I didn't want, I went in dark too quick. I, I, I get ahead of myself sometimes. And all we need to do is just put some tree shapes in. Just like this. Just tapping down. Like that. Do 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 do. Oh, Christmas is a wonderful time. A wonderful time. It's the season to be jolly. In fact, I really do enjoy Christmas. I love Christmas. It's a time of giving and a time of joy and happiness. And let's be honest, we could all do with a bit of joy and happiness this year, especially after the year. A lot of us have had and
what more do we want than a wonderful Christmas tree on on the week of Christmas? Always bigger on the bottom. Let me get a little brush. I got a little brush here somewhere. Where's it gone? <laughs> Where's my little brush gone? <laughs> Again, I'm getting a bit, a bit of black. A little bit of black. And I'm just going to... Put a little... A Christmas star like that. <laughs> It'll make sense. Trust me, it always makes sense. It always makes sense. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Da 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 da. Get in some snow. on the tree don't kill all the black don't kill all that black you've worked hard to put that shadow color in place so don't don't kill that just put a little bit of snow where you think it's caught a little bit more snow on the bottom maybe like that Just rub it in with your finger. Look at. Just get that snowy type of feeling. And play with the paint. Get to know the thickness of the paint. Feel, feel the paint in your hands. That's what we don't do. We don't. We don't play enough um, with paint. When you feel how thick the paint is, especially with the tip of your finger like that, you you get the you get to understand the paint, being tactile with it. And then when you turn over to the brush like this, you know how that paint is going to move because you felt it in your fingers. Sounds mad, I know, but trust me. It's amazing what you can, what you can do when you know how the paint feels. They say, how do you feel? What's the thickness of paint? I get a little bit of paint between your fingers and then you can feel the thickness rather than see the thickness. It's a bit more more tactile. It's getting they get into get into know the paint. Acrylics is, is uh, they're funny things, acrylics. But it's getting to know all these different things. There we are. Just give it a little bit of depth. You see the depth there. 
what I want to do now is go back into my little tiny brush. Oops. And he drops his brush in the palette, which is not a good thing. Especially at this point. Get a little bit of... I'm going to just get a little bit of yellow. Uh, yellow, because I can. Come on, yellow. That's gone green. I've got a bit of blue in my brush. But not to worry. Wash your brush and, and start again. Let's put a little bit of... A little bit of yellow off. Shining off that star like that. Get a bit of white. And that glow of white on the star. yellow in the snow look just gives it that ping There's a little bit of glow coming off that tree now there it is what a wonderful Christmassy card type of painting that is you could put a snowman in there if you wanted to or you could do anything you want um, personally today I just want to make this as a quick lesson so I'm just gonna put some more snow in now and then Made a little bit thinner. I want a couple of bigger snowdrops. Make it look as if it's just snowing. Oh, and there's a wonderful Christmas card final painting. But I think I'm going to be staying home this Christmas because I've got a lot of mince pies and a lot of wine and mulled wine to drink. So, But I'm looking forward to my Christmas day and my Christmas with my family. And I hope you are too. So from me in South Wales, thank you very much for joining me this year. I'm painting away the stress of every life, a day life. But in the meantime, have a happy new year. And I'll see you for another lesson in January. Bye-bye.